Welcome back. This is part six of our galactic history with Lance White and Andrew Bartsis. Okay. And there's something that you touched on in the last episode that I thought was really important to get some clarity on. You were talking about fear and the, how the, the uh, dark t-shirts are basically throwing out the... Uh, all they can at this point because they know that this is the time when they need to disrupt things. So June 21st apparently is a significant date. Correct. And why is that? <clears throat> We've gone from <clears throat> galactic spring to galactic summer in unity with planetary summer. At that point in time is where we as a species naturally shed our old spiritual armor and create new. Think of a soft shell crab. Mm. It's shed its old, and we're in the soft stage. The 21st represents the day you shed your, your old energetic skin. Mm. And to the 14th of July is where you have the opportunity to create new ones. Mm. If you are in fear, you will never create that process, and you will just create the same spiritual armoring boundaries that you had before. We, we do this. We, it's just a natural process of being here. And then in December, we, we get an opportunity to create another one. So if for those that are truly doing the hard work, hard work being self-nurturing, self-love, self-healing, so you can heal others, that puts you in the path of being a fully aware light entity that respects the sovereign free will of yourself and others. The 21st is when they're going to turn on the fear again. In every level of media, in every level of, of society, there's going to be little games to get this group into fear, to get this group into fear. Information that they've been holding back, you know, or stuff that maybe they only showed a little bit in 2012, mm -hmm. but that's the teaser information. 2013 is about <clears throat> mining everything they created in 2012 mm -hmm. to create fear. We're a manifesting, creating species, so fear means we, our fear means we will create our own destruction, mm -hmm. like literally. We're at this point where there's not enough people in fear now to create destruction, but there's enough people still in fear to keep us from awakening. Right. Right. So <clears throat> much of this will be on the Internet? All the It'll media. start with the 21st from the 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., wherever you are, local time, there's going to be a mass release of psychic parasites through the Internet. And that will cause people to go into polarity. It will be people angry. People go into their addictions. And they'll begin to spread these parasites. And this parasite is an in actual industry of people that use the, the internet to gather these parasites. These parasites naturally exist on Earth. Just like bugs or flies that eat the carrion, mm -hmm. these, these parasites clean the spiritual energies that need, needs to be reprocessed. There are other parasites that have brought from other worlds that have been crossbred with ours and have been given specific attack, attack functions so they can go after high energy beings even though a low energy being is broadcast, is the broadcast energy for this parasite to get into you. Mm -hmm. There's different types. There's one that bore in like a screw. Others that come up through the feet and their goal is to get into the liver system. Uh, we have energy meridians all over body. They might just come in through one toe and stick in there and then just slowly, slowly burrow up. And if you're <laughs> unaware that they exist, it'll just be leg cramping or, oh, okay. or something simple until finally they get into your energetic system and they make you eat more carbs, put on weight, cause depression, or cause you to separate in your marriage. They, 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 they really create havoc. Mm -hmm. The internet trolls that we've all experienced, they'll be in full, full force. They're actually people that are hired to attack people. Mm -hmm. Those people are being paid $85 an hour to do it. There's been all sorts of soft disclosure about these organizations that are hiring people to create fake internet sites, to put out fake information, and alternately to attack anybody that's bringing out a layer of truth they don't like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, absolutely. And that's been going on for quite a long time. Quite a long time. <laughs> and through all the <clears throat> various governmental agencies and so on, they all have their versions of it. Correct. Um, one of the uh, people that I interviewed recently was Eve Lorgan, mm -hmm. and she talks a lot about uh, these parasites and how to deal with them on her website. Mm -hmm. So this is just something that has come into my awareness recently. And, and the, the various kinds of which you're talking about, mm -hmm. probably many more that we... There's thousands. Right, right. Thousands right. Well, we know they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're parasites within our bodies, so, you know. And then, Natural is only energy parasites. Yeah. For getting rid of them, for everyone out there, salt is the great neutralizer. 
Uh, salt. Pink Himalayan salt, standard uh, kosher salt, not iodized salt. You need bigger mm -hmm. size crystals. The kosher salt, bigger crystals. Sea salt, great. Colored salt. Put a, a Ziploc bag with a half a cup of salt. Put it on the back of your neck. Lay down on a pillow. And just let your energy meridians that are in the back of your neck flow through that salt. The salt will begin to create neutralizing energy that will repel the, the parasites. It's just like putting salt on a slug. They dissolve. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. For those people that are having trouble in dream times or having night terrors, put a bag of salt on your head, back of your neck and your tailbone. Use a little medical tape. It f melts to your skin just like an ice pack. Mm. And you will mm -hmm. not only yeah. take away the parasites, but allow yourself to have a natural regenerative sleep. So you can once again have the energy and the space to store your dreams. Very good suggestions, and I think you also mentioned <clears throat> putting one on your router and, and on your router on your, your put digital your turn your cell phone off at night. Right, turn, turn your router off, off at night. So there's no transmission. No transmission. These parasites function through the the, the transmission factors of all our different devices. So uh, if you basically if you shut everything down for the most part and and minimize your your uh, yeah. you you can still function with them yeah. when you're asleep. Turn them off. Right, right. You know, for those people out there that can't turn, don't sleep with your cell phone next to your bed. Uh, it interacts with your dream time. Right. They lure you into the, the sacred dream time local city, so you never dream in a global dream time. Right, right. You're in the fake world. George talks about how much they've, they've, they've hijacked us. It goes even deeper than what he says. He could only point out what he's experienced, and I can only point out what I experienced. But when people like us come together through through talks like this or we get the more and more and more of the picture mm -hmm. without people like them stepping forward with, with the brass set to doubt there we wouldn't be in a scenario where we all can talk like this right right the door's been open wide that's right yeah somebody kicked it open and there's the locks broken on it <laughs> and it also empowers other people to stand up in their own power and, right. and speak you know their own truth to, to even see it and experience it, which is something going to be something new for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And just to clear something up, there's so many perspectives to look at this from. My perspective is the sacred neutral. This is information to me. There's no polarity in it. I don't. I don't have dogmas or political concepts or, or, things that I'm promoting other than our full transparent history with no secrets. Mm -hmm. That's about time. <laughs> about time. It's about time. So, um, what are the period of time that there that this is going to be most likely to occur is uh, all the way through July, from the twenty first of June to the fourteenth July is your rearmoring phase. Okay. This is where people should turn off their cell phones, turn off their TV, begin to meditate, do whatever it takes for you to do to empower yourself. Okay. Now, one of the other things that we were talking about in the last uh, session was about Agartha and the fall of Atlanta, the third fall of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Did you want to can yeah. add anything more to that? Where we left off there, I know we go back and forth a little bit, but to get this story, there's so much you have to understand about now, because if I just explain then, it doesn't interlink to now. And we understand everything in between there, there are people that are leapfrogging through time making sure that there's a monetary system and a system of domination and control that's in unity conscious with disunity consciousness of creation. So the Hollow Earth and the Agartha Network is to make sure that there's unity consciousness spreading amongst our people, that in dream time that they can communicate with people, be dream time protectors. Also we have to understand this Agartha Network also is off-world species. Mm. Off-world species are our soul family. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple, they are our soul family. Some are good, some are bad, some are neutral, some are really funny species, you know, <laughs> some are all musicians. We have to come to the understanding that we are the reflection of them, they are the reflection of us, we're all soul family. The Agartha Network is the ambassadorial spot where these species can come in unity consciousness so that we can all see these reflections of ourselves where we can hold galactic councils in a peaceful state and resolve issues resolve karma 
many of us are going to be asked to be emissaries or ambassadors, but take out the human definition of emissary and ambassador. Mm -hmm. Take out that matrix and understand those people that go forth are the first layer of the graduating students that say, this is what I've learned. This is my life story. And everyone that comes out saying, this is my life story. This is what I learned in this galactic ascension machine. Mm. And the hollow earth will be the ones that hold that information for all seven future generations that will come in after the system of domination and control is done. They're the ones that are going to have to oversee the backlog of immigrants that can't, couldn't get in, or the, all those people that are stuck in the astral world that are, ted no, that are so told, no, you can't get in. Wow. So, um, for some of us, the, the, the period of time that leads up to the event will be fairly quick. But, Correct. But the awake people will experience it much faster than the sleeps. And so, what you're talking about now, uh, the, the backlog and the rest of it, it would be... Would that after be event, after the second part, there's four phases of the event. It'll be after okay. the second part of the, of the event. Okay, so you, which, can you go over those four phases again? First phase is uh, shared dream times. Right. Second phase is the adults and us begin to experience uh, deja vu on a mass scale, as well as dreams. Third phase is where we begin to begin separating realities, where the lower density people will dream themselves into a local reality. Mm. And the higher density people would dream themselves in a higher denser reality so that they can begin to be more in touch with their manifesting co-creating powers. This will be done through dream time. You may have a friend that disappears for a week and then comes back mm. a whole different person. Mm. On a mass scale, sort of. But it only takes a few to change the world. And at the same time, it takes many to enforce the change to make it complete. Right. It, we can have change, but we won't have complete change until everyone experiences it. So it pretty much is a, an, an, uh, all for, you know, all of us working together. All of us working together and coming to removing of soul contracts <clears throat> with the system of domination and control. That's really what the third and fourth phase are, is where we're claiming our sovereign free will on a level where we're out marching in the same scale and size of the 1960s and 70s. Yeah, it seems like there's been such a large uh, complacency and that we've been uh, just so dumbed down with artificial intelligence and technological controls. Mm -hmm. We've just been unable to even turn around without, you know, to make a move. So there's bound to be a lot of changes that occur from now on, from now on, really? Mm, yes. In my current interfunction with the Akashic Record, I've already seen the end and there's a part of me already there. I couldn't do this without that. Mm. And honestly, it was a little disturbing at first, but it was also the spark of hope that I needed to complete this task, knowing that everyone that's followed the Galactic Historian before me didn't survive because when you stop secrets, people get angry. <laughs> so how does it end? It's a Three Stooges show. <laughs> okay. I can't viol violate the sovereign free okay. will of individuals, let alone a whole species. But it will be obvious to... Blatantly obvious. <laughs> it's like the scene where the dress flies up and you see the underpants. Yeah, great. <laughs> or she's going European. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be a lot of fun for some people who've been, you know, sitting in, in the theater, you know, waiting for the show to mm -hmm. begin. That's right. Well, again, we don't need cheerleaders. We don't need people sitting watching the theater. We need people out there motivating right. people right. to claim their sovereign free will. Right, and taking the steps mm -hmm. and taking the actions and clearing yourself mm -hmm. and healing. Another <clears> thing <throat> about the Hollow Earth system, they're the ones that are going to, because they're soul family and will instantly recognize them when they're allowed to be on the surface world, on the graduating timeline, they're the ones that are going to take over our court system. Mm. Our court system is absolutely corrupt from the top down. Mm -hmm. It's meant to cannibalize its own people and put them in this, into corporate slavery or physical slavery. Yeah. The court system will be something that immediately has to be addressed because there's, what, 22 million people in our, in our jail system here. Worldwide, I think, uh, was it a 6 or 9% of our population of the whole world's in, in a jail system? At least. And then you have the sex slave industry 
which is a giant industry, and it's Huge. an industry, and they're yeah. our slaves. Yeah. They will have to be taken care of by the, the new court system, and these will be called spiritual courts of equity, where your ancestors manifest in a, in a, a full presence and allow what's been done to you to be read into fullness of the Acacia record so you can fully get the healing that's needed by getting your sovereign free will. Hmm. The sex slave industry has been created exactly to take the power away from the sacred feminine. Mm -hmm. And that has to be addressed immediately. The event, it's the event. The event really is about healing too. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our women and our men are doing things that are opposite of their nature because they've been lured that way and they don't have the real information of what they're supposed to do, what they're supposed to be. You know, those women that are out there, they're having difficulty with their menstrual cycles. You can use meditation to connect to that energy and get deeper into an understanding of it. Those men that are highly sexually charged, it's time for you to, to understand that you can do your own vision quests. You just have to have the gratitude and understanding of what it takes to go through with it. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> it seems that uh, concurrent with those things there will also have to be a complete revamp of the, quote, financial system. Mm -hmm. The banking industry is the chief violator of our free will. The chief violator. Only this world are you charged to live in. Hmm. Okay? And that, that I believe Collier, Alex Collier was the one that coined that phrase. You got to give him his credit for that because yeah. it's a great, it's a great saying. But on top of that, they tax you every lifetime, so you're never at full power. Okay, the banking industry is controlled by family crests, by manor rolls, by laws that are are physically written to expect affect you on a spiritual level. Mm -hmm. Okay, the banking industry. The exchange for value system will have to be rediscovered the way the rest of the worlds in the universe work. The planetary sentience, Earth Mother, is the overseer of all exchange for values. Mm -hmm. Every single thing. And the, the Earth sentience will be a part of physical technology that guarantees a transaction is transparent and there's no f foul play behind it. The scam artists are done. Hmm. Telephone mark telemarketers done. Hmm. Yeah? Good, good. It'll be a relief to see all that advertising mm -hmm. that's popping up everywhere. I mean, it's it's getting so invasive that it just practically pops off the screen on purpose. Uh, yeah, yeah, on purpose. Yeah, it's it's it seems like it can't get any worse, and then they come up with mm -hmm. a new technique for harvesting. You know, trying to harvest our our money, and our energy. Mm -hmm. The banking system that we have today, um, when Atlantis was going through its final fall, they had a kind of a hybrid system of exchange for value. They traded technology for spiritual information. Mm. You know, World War II and World War I and, and the Cold War was about creating the technology and then selling it to your friends for an even higher price to put them all into debt. The same thing was applied to Atla the Atlantean levels. They traded their technology or their spiritual technology for resources or for technology for technology, maybe it's spiritual technology. They knew they were losing. They knew that they had to plan way ahead of time. And then they needed people to be a part of the resistance of free earth, which is all of us, and to be a cell of one. So you weren't a pod, you were a cell of one. Mm -hmm. So all of us individuals are a cell of one of the resistance of free earth. Mm -hmm. Everyone here at this time, all those people that haven't gotten to graduate, we're all resistance free earth. Every single one of us. Mm -hmm. So uh, how can we take an active role in that? There are so many books out there. Mm -hmm that begin the process. I can't even begin to name them all. I don't think it's appropriate to identify a single one in this, but they're out there. Right, right. You know, let your heart do that determination. Right. There's so many positive teachers out there now where they were never allowed to speak before. Go to a bookstore. Allow your heart to help make you the choice. Right. Okay? Right. Gravitate towards the Gravitate. one. Gravitate. Or let one fall pick off the shelf. Yeah, pick up some crystals. Go do an energy healing class. 
do something that gives you information that you can use as a hobby that you do for fun and for free. When we don't come from a fun, for fun and for free stage, it's a task. Mm -hmm. And we don't pull our full consciousness into it. Right, right. Now you were talking too about some of the, we, we skipped around with the time wars. Mm -hmm. How extensive uh, are they today? And what's going on with all these conflicts around the world? Is this uh, just the ramping up of... The conflicts around the world, are, are the, all of the conflicts in the Arab world are about preventing uh, seven womb chakras from opening up. Oh. They have violence and war on them for an extended period of time with the major exchange for value systems depositing taxed soul energy into those sacred geometry buildings and ancient technologies that have been there since the Atlantean fortification days. Mm. So those womb chakras are the ones that are going to open first. They've always known that. Therefore, those are the places that have to have war on the surface to prevent the Earth's unity consciousness reaching out through all of the chakras. Uh. So it's like putting a cork in it. Uh. Are there also battles for uh, stargates? Going Absolutely. On? <clears throat> There's a massive attempt to smuggle DNA off this world as well as living humans off this world. Uh. So any opportunity they find random rifts or they find uh, specialized rifts left over from technology that no one's known about for 52 million years, mm. they will use it to their advantage because they get repaid every time they can get the proper DNA off. Wow. You know, as for time wars, we're on a unified timeline since 2000, June 2011. But we here right now live all of our past, present, and future lives simultaneously. Mm. So when you begin to understand that layer, combined with the Time Wars layer, we can end all the Time Wars in unity consciousness, global dream time, where we can heal ourselves as a global society. The off-world wars are a little different. In 2006, we could have been done with this. The, the Syrian Gray and Orion Wars, when they finally ended, the forces were so depleted, they didn't have the, the physical oomph to come here and kick them out. Wow. and tear the power out of their cold, dead hands. But at the same time, they discovered a massive layer of corruption within their own late societies. Wow. And this corruption was using the, D the DNA smuggling trade to save other races. There are many races out there that are on the verge of death. And on the verge of death because they use cloning technology for 80,000 years. They don't have sex organs. They don't know how to have children. They, do, they just do everything test tube and expect the soul family to come in. So many of their soul family are stuck here that they're not inviting because their, their, their soul family rules are so specific. Mm -hmm. So these societies are desperate. They're down to a few thousand of their species left. So they will use this underground smuggling network, mm -hmm. which is the multidimensional beings, to get humans kidnapped off this world so they can harvest the DNA from them and the soul codes from them so they can save their species. Do I blame them? No. Hmm. Do I blame them? They're trying to save their species. But at the same time, it's so one person can cause a pan-galactic pan <laughs> viral outbreak. It's happened many times. But when you reach the desperation of the last of the species, you know, I can't blame them. I really can't. But we have to, to even stop that when it was discovered how deep the corruption went. Um, there was a Syrian Grey that I did a healing for in a, in a galactic uh, psychic surgery chamber, I'll just simply call it that. Um, I was asked to come in, it was one of the, the first communications I had as an, as a, an adult in the galactic historian concept. Um, out of nowhere, they, they said, I need your help. You are the only one that has the complete soul codes to this person. Mm. And he turned state's evidence against many, 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 many of the light beings. Mm. I mean, straight up turned state's evidence, and he needed what I had in me, so because he was poisoned with a very special genetic poison that would not only eliminate him, but all of his future offspring from ever immigrating from other universes. Mm. Um, he was also heavily invested into the time war, so if he passes on in between a time war, everything that he's done before is unraveled. Mm. So everyone's interlinked. 
So when you take a piece out, everything falls apart. And I, I came into this healing ch chamber, did the healing on him, and he went off to do the rest of his testimony, which is why in 2006 we didn't get our event. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, you had to fix out there, because if we would have been freed and there would have been corruption out there, they would have won. Uh. It's insidious how deep this goes. Wow. Absolutely insidious. What else can you tell us about the, the depth of it? <clears throat> the Syrian Grey Wars or the Orion Wars? Which one do you do? Massive ship battles. Well, maybe what we'll do is when, when we uh, come back from our break, okay. we can uh, pick up with one of one or both, okay. the Orion Wars and the Syrian Wars. And I also had a question about the uh, gray breeding pro programs. Mm -hmm. um, you did mention the grays, and they have quite an extensive uh, breeding programs with humans still going on. Yes. In fact, many of them are walking the... Walking, walking amongst us. Real amongst us, mm -hmm. right. So I wanted to find out about that too. So Okay. So stay tuned. We shall return. <laughs>